Feeding frenzies are all about competition for food. In the best feeding frenzies there's lots of fish and they're all trying to compete with each other to get their share of the food. So get their share before their mates eat the lot. In most cases it's not just one species involved. So here we've got, I don't know how many, four or five different species. Red Emperor, large and smallmouth nanny guy, triggerfish, coral trout, a number of others probably there as well. And this is, is by no means uncommon. Feeding frenzies occur with uh, species that tear pieces of the bait. So here we've got mainly uh, species with relatively small mouths, so they can't pick up the whole bait, so they're tearing bits off. That doesn't mean that other species aren't attracted. So if you look in the background, we've got uh, two coral trout. Now they're not actively feeding on the bait itself, but they're looking for bits and pieces that are torn off or in the mouths of other uh, species ready to steal it. They're looking for something they can grab hold of, the whole lot, so that they can take it away. So the tail gets torn off. There it goes. Coral trout in pursuit. Back he comes in his mouth. Now these are another two species that you commonly see uh, in a feeding frenzy. So we've got uh, iodine brim and uh, Venus tusk fish. Both of them once again have small, relatively small mouths. So they tend to tear pieces off the bait. And they occur in, uh, in numbers. Now, here's another example. These are uh, Hussa, and Hussa are also <laughs> often involved in, in, uh, in feeding frenzies. You can see the coral trout there watching carefully, getting ready to steal that bait off one of them. I don't think the coral trout see it as food until it's actually separated. Now these little guys are also one of the, the real uh, base stealers of the southern and central uh, barrier reefs. These are whiptails and whiptails always attack in numbers. And of course they do attract other species so we've got triggerfish and here comes a lizardfish or grinner Sangrinner. Now these little guys are in their millions on the reef uh, or in between the reefs on um, usually on sandy sort of bottom and the other uh, species that's very common in these uh, types of feeding frenzies are triggerfish. Triggerfish can can be in plague proportions in, in places and they're very aggressive and, and tend to get uh, more than their fair sh share of the food in many cases. Feeding frenzies can go on for as long as your bait lasts. They're always fun to watch. I 
Thanks for watching.